yeah i'm back again and i'm chatting the most and i'm looking cute <laughs> what's good <laughs> what's popping <laughs> Hey guys, it's TK. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm here to have a chit chat with you to explain myself as to why I've been away for so damn long. Oh, yeah, to show you guys how to get this cute date night look. It's a look, guys. Listen. Get into the tea. Get into why you guys are probably here which is to hear why i've been away for so long um and the reason being is that uni has just been doing the most for me <laughs> oh wow it's a while let me blend first before i continue talking it's not like i couldn't cope with second year and the workload that came with it like i could but it's just that it was a lot. I was about to say specifically. Um, <laughs> I feel like second year has just been a lot busier for me specifically just because um, it wasn't like, oh, second year of the same uni. See, for those that know, for those that are close to me, they know that I'm transfer uni and I'm going to do a video on this in the future. When in the future, I don't know, but I'm going to do a video on it. Like, you're constantly working towards the next deadline. Like, you don't you don't get time to rest like <laughs> there's no resting there's no breathing time like second year really stepped on my neck like that you know made me realize that and obviously what i was saying on top of that was that i transferred uni so um yeah transferring uni just made second year that a little bit more difficult because it was just kind of like i'm starting a new place and on top of that i gotta deal with the workload but whatever, I'm doing it, I did it. I can't really say I did it at this point because I've still got exams to go through. Whatever. Oh guys, I think I'm gonna use Mocha Mommy, this one. I'm gonna use that um, in my crease as well. I feel like it might look cute. Oh, this applies like a dream. Look like a dream. Oh wow, oh beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Um, so on top of just the normal workload that second year was giving me, I decided to now get a job and you know the job was nice, I can't lie. Oh I might do a nice glowy look. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay you guys, the pigmentation in Juvia's Place palettes just gets to be every single time. Like, it's a wow. See what I mean? Time managing and prioritizing, like, second year has really just done the most with me on that one because I just had to learn to say, shit. Some things, some motives, some situations, it's actually okay. Like, it's not by force. We're gonna blend this out. Wow, I really can't talk and do my makeup at the same time. Oh shit. This clothes pen. Beautiful. Oh, I don't know. Do I shall I do a cut crease shape? Or should I? We're gonna we're gonna do cut 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 the crease. Small small. Oh by the way guys, I've been enjoying like this cut crease but a softer cut crease. It's a softer and a lazier cut crease. <laughs> Now that we're gonna do the easy stuff that requires less concentration, I'm gonna talk more. Oh, right now what I'm just putting on is the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder, but the tinted one, I think it's the medium deep or something. 
something along those along that shade name anyway i'm putting that um on my oily places so you want to fill a spray bottle with water spray spritz a bit of water between your makeup layers so like for example if you're gonna do to do i don't know foundation um and you're gonna apply it how i applied it so say you're gonna put powder beforehand put the powder on spritz some water then your foundation on when it comes to things like baking and whatnot and setting things um but i think it just makes your makeup blend so much nicer um, yeah i found that it's very useful especially when you're layering powders back to uni and second year and how that's treating me so yeah call cool, whatever job you know but either way there's some perks to the job and the perks to the job is extra peas in my account which are very nice to have and also um i get to socialize with different people and you know all that kind of stuff like it's nice to be able to do that to just talk to like a different vibe talk about other stuff and it's nice to just get to know others um and it's definitely helped with my time management like i said wow oh the struggle of finding a placement what like i feel like i'm being hella dramatic but you know this is what it is like Finding a placement is one of the most difficult things and I'm speaking from the perspective of a black woman, okay? I'm speaking from the perspective... <laughs> yeah, I'm here speaking from the perspective of a black woman and I'm here telling you, like, it's difficult. It's difficult if you don't work for it. And luckily, that's what I did. I knew to work for it. I knew to work a lot harder for looking for my placements and all that kind of stuff because my dad has always taught me that you know you gotta work t like twice as hard okay in this world and from what i understand now i feel like you gotta work 10 times as hard not gonna lie to you being a black woman you gotta work 10 times as hard to get to where let's just say our caucasian counterparts get to obviously not everything can be um what do you call it um attributed to race and not everything can say that oh it's because of race that xyz isn't happening for me or whatever however it was just very mad because um obviously i told you guys i worked hard to be able to get my placement i made sure that i did the extracurricular activities that i had to go to and i went to them and whatnot just so i understood just so i understood how to go about it really i just did like almost everything that i possibly could um so that involved like going going to a whole uni on a saturday you lot going to a whole uni on a saturday for me just to make sure that um literally i was going to uni on a saturday just to make sure that i went to the services that the uni provided and i managed to find my placement first year right now going into the second year and you'll know you're going to be looking for a placement just be aware it's going to be hella difficult but with that being said don't let the prospect or the idea of it being difficult like get you down like don't let it don't let it do that to you just know that you've got to work hard you've got to graft and you've got to put that work in all together i'm gonna to look so fine tonight on date night you know i'm saying that i'm going anywhere i'm not going nowhere guys i'm actually doing my face to stay in my damn house and revise let me just say this this year was the year i managed to fix up my sleeping pattern as in i am now proudly i mean i say this now like <laughs> this might just be taken away from me very quick but now i'm getting like a solid like eight hours sleep the majority of my nights that in itself has improved like my whole mood my whole mental health everything and just the way i function throughout the day like as much as you guys may feel like you must you must be doing all nighter in uni you must be doing this in uni you must be doing the absolute most in terms of your sleeping pattern like no you don't oh 
Oh my gosh, this lip color. I've always been a fan of like makeup revolution setting sprays. So I found this Sport Fix one. I like it. I like it a lot. And as another thing that I'm just gonna emphasize real quick before this video ends, maintain your relationship with God. I know I've been saying that I've been hella busy throughout second year and this, that, and the other, but honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys, maintain your relationship with God talk to him every single day because there's nothing better there's nothing better than a good prayer like god's always with you through the good times and the bad times literally through everything he is with you so you just gotta pray and pray through it and you will find yourself doing things that you might have been sat there thinking like, wow like how did i even get through it but you only got through it because of the grace of god so i'm gonna say keep on praying and maintain that relationship with God and all will be well. It won't be easy, but all will be well. Thank you guys for watching that little catch up chit chat video. We all learned that I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time, but it's all good because I came out with this cute, cute, cute look. I feel like I look so good. I look edible right now. I look like a snack. I haven't even been posting and I've, I'm still gaining subscribers. Like you guys have a different type of look for me and you know I'm gonna continue posting content out but um yeah thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it I hope you have a very blessed day week month year everything don't forget to like subscribe comment and share all that standard stuff but on a real though like don't be scared to come interact with me because I'm always here if you want to interact with me go for it if you don't then that's fine you know that's, that's okay it's okay your last bull and yeah TK about to show y'all how you get cute for your date night.